black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, gourmet Big Mac versus gourmet Whopper. First thing we gotta do is bang out maybe some quarter pound patties out of this nice fresh beef I just picked up. All right, let's go ahead and form some of these patties out. Two of these patties out, nice and wide and sort of thin, but not too thin, but spread out nice. Is that looking like a Whopper patty? Just about. All right, season this side. Salt and pepper. A little pat in. A little wax paper. Quick flip. A little more salt on this side. Stack one onto the plate. Two patties stacked. And I'm gonna pop these in the freezer for just a little bit, maybe 15 minutes. About to whip up a little mac sauce. Mayo. Squirt of ketchup. A little squirt of mustard. Little dash of vinegar. Spoonful of relish. Pinch of paprika. Pinch of cumin. Tiny pinch of curry powder. Tiny pinch of salt. And we whip. Mac sauce, baby. Put the oil in the pan, sploosh it around to sear off these patties. All right, patty one. Patty two, it's a tight squeeze. Time for a flip. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let these rest for a little bit. All right, while those are chilling, I'm gonna get some onions prepped here. Quick slice off the mandolin for some perfect onions. For the Big Mac, we need the chiffonade lettuce, of course, shred us. And then the chunky lettuce for the Whopper, just a rough chop. Of course, we need perfect tomato for the Whopper as well. Nice, perfect, uniform slices. Got these nice buns, Portuguese style buns. Gonna dab them up with some oil and take them for a nice light toast. Slap them buns on. All right, buns are perfectly toasty. Let's build. First burg is the Whopper. A little patty down, nothing on the bottom. Gotta have pickles, four of them. Plenty amount of ketchup. Perfectly sliced onions. Swap that out for the top. Hefty mayo. Lettuce up next. Two big old tomatoes. Quickly close the case. Pop one of these in here. Inspect a little gourmet Whopper action. That's the shot right there. Perfect. Just put that off to the side. Toasty, cheesy little bottom here. Do a little bit of the mac sauce on the bottom here. A little bit of some landing lettuce here on the bottom as well. Melty, cheesy patty coming in hot. More sauce in the middle. Couple nice pickles, big boys. Perfect onions. Looking delicious so far. Bit more sauce on top. You guys know I'm a saucy guy. And a buttload of lettuce on top. As Big Macs are about layers. Quick transfer. Now we have the gourmet Big Mac. That's the shot right there, maybe. There we have it, a gourmet Big Mac and a gourmet Whopper. Let's try these guys. All right, yo, what is up? What's good with y'all? It was a close call. It was close to a tie. I think it was 51% homemade gourmet style Mac versus Whopper, and then tacos. Now, all the comments pretty much were like tacos, 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 but the poll itself did win over tacos. Doesn't mean I can't do tacos tomorrow or the next day. <laughs> But uh, I did have these buns in the fridge. That's what really sparked the idea in the first place was I needed to use these before they went bad. And they're my favorite buns. They're Portuguese buns. They are incredible. I, I love them so, so much. Anyhow, this is going to be quite the uh, intense, uh, messy endeavor, I feel as if. Uh, big eating. I don't know if I'm going to talk too, too much. 
we'll have some chats, but I feel like this is going to be like a, a smash attack situation. So I actually want to do the Whopper first. That's what I want to try first. Don't know why. Well, I think I do know why. I think the Whopper is, has more purity and flavor and, uh, like on Mac sauce is it's uh it'll pervert the palate a little too much. So, cause it's got a stronger style sauce, but here we go. That perfectly built exactly how BK builds it. A Whopper. Let's get it. Of course, it's not going to have that flame broiled flavor, which you're definitely missing. But it is still. Very, very good. All the flavors are definitely on point. Thicker patty than you'd normally get. Mm. I just hit the pocket that has, that had everything in the bite. And that's Whopper esque. Absolutely perfect. I actually wish BK would make their onions thinner like that. Sometimes their onions be too much. Save a little bite for later and introduce and introduce the Mac attack. Is that the perfect bite right there, that side? Or do I go this one? I think I go this one right there with the onion, the pickle. Yeah, and real cheese. None of this craft singles. Oh, hello. That's a good burger. I think that's beating the Whopper right now. Saucy, drippy. Messy goodness. These pickles are great too. Reminds me of getting the McDouble like a Mac, but in quarter pounder form. idea how bomb that is
That sauce worked out really good. Messy though. All right. I gotta take this thing to Pound Town. So once you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> stop burger. heavy all right had a little cleanup on aisle five here got rid of the mac but uh let's rip another bite or two off this it definitely tastes like the drippy backside of a whopper with all the sauces and juices coming together on the pickles and everything. I know you guys are gonna rip me apart for not eating the rest, but I don't wanna be that full. I'm perfectly full right now. Two big, big old bergs. Um, this was good, but the Mac took the cake. It just tasted more, it's, it, it, it did what I thought I was trying to do here like it took it took a Big Mac and tasted more gourmet with the real cheese the different bun just that structure of it it tasted like you could serve it at a restaurant as a Big Mac but like an elevated Big Mac and people would enjoy that whereas if they got this they they would miss the flame grilled element so if I could make this with uh, the flame broil well, then it might be a different story because you definitely do miss the flame broiled element to this. So, delicious nonetheless. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for voting. Till the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, and stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.